On the hill tonight for the Giants will be the rookie right-hander Hayden Birdsong, 6'4", 215-pounder, a 23-year-old out of Mattoon, Illinois. Howdy! Start number 13 on the year, 3-5 and five with a 5.19 ERA. Good strikeout ratio, 64 punchouts in 52 innings, but 35 walks is high for 52, and that'll be a key for him, his command tonight. Swing, and there's a drive into center, over to his right a bit. McCray makes the catch. So one down. Here he's ahead in the count three and one. Shoots this one to left. Ramos spins around and he makes the catch. Wow. This is a remarkable play. He gets turned around to a high backhander. I didn't think he had any chance to get this thing. Well how do you beat a team that's got terrific defense. Play some defense of your own. Out glove him. And the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Inning over. Montas has been good since he's been a Brewer, but he's a veteran. I've been around a long time. He's pitching parts of nine seasons. Brewers are five and two when he starts. Sub four ERA for him. That's a big change coming over to Cincinnati, where his ERA was a five. Line drive to right field. Wins carrying that one back and going to be caught by Freelich. And it does feel like right field has some juice once again tonight. I think that's where the home field advantage comes to play. And three up and three down go the San Francisco Giants and that ends the inning. Home half of the second inning Giants will bring up Matt Chapman to lead it off. Fly ball down the right field line. Freelick nearing foul territory reaches in makes the catch and trampolines off the screen back into play. How about that play by Sal and how athletic was that just bouncing off that netting. Like a trampoline. He used his arms as a little springboard. That was very smoothly done, Sal. Wade over at first. Montas looks at first and throws home. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. A fastball on the inner part of the plate. Just good old fashioned heater right by Encarnacion. Little tapper. And right on the bag, Adamas, he'll step on it for the out, and the inning is over. Two scoreless for Frankie Montas. We go to the bottom of the third inning here in San Francisco. 0-0 ball game. Really enjoy what Montas has been able to do with dispersing the arsenal and moving the ball around the zone as well. Already a great job early in the ball game. And a swing and a miss. Nasty slider that time from Montas. You got to respect it. If that's a four-seam fastball, it's going to be outer third of the plate. Starting to get warmed up on this cool night in San Francisco. Got him. Blew him away with a fastball at 97. The 1 2 3, bottom of the third. Both teams are just one hit in this game. There has not been much traffic on the base pass as of yet. And a swing and a miss. Gassed him up with a fastball. And four of his last six outs have been via the strikeout, Tim. He's got five swings and misses on the slider. That's a new season high, by the way, on that pitch. Let's see if he throws one here. The 0 2. No, fastball and a called strike three. Just a paint job on the outside corner. Comeback sinker on Ramos and strikeout number five, Tim. I mean, just pumping in the strikes. Woo. Pitch timer violation on Frankie Montas because he stepped off the back of the rubber with nobody on base. Montas is uh, upset about that. There's really nowhere to go if you're a pitcher. If there's a runner on base, you can always just throw over. See if Frankie can get his composure back. There goes Chapman. 3 2 is low, ball four. So Wade takes the walk. Back to back, two out walks. And the Giants have an opportunity here, their first runner in scoring position of the whole game. Frankie Montas having to dig deep right here. In the air towards right. Back on it goes Freelich. Just to the edge of the warning track. He's there to make the catch, and the inning is over. And we're off to the fifth. Each team with no runs. Birdsong has lodged just one hit, one over the minimum. Wow, right on the inside corner, strike three call. Great slider. Third strikeout for Birdsong. So one out, a runner aboard, hit number two for the Brewers. Be the first at bat for Milwaukee with a runner in scoring position. Is in there, strike three call, and Hoskins knew it. After four and a half, nothing, nothing. The Brewers come up empty, leaving a runner at second. Frankie Montas has been excellent tonight. Not getting any run support, but he's... Holding up his end. 17 whiffs already in the ball games, the most since joining the Brewers. I like how he's kind of diversified the portfolio, but something about that slider, and now he's leaned into it big time. Lead man up in the six, seven strikeouts for Montas here. The 2 2 pitch, and he got him. Splitter, a nasty one in the dirt. And another strikeout for Frankie, that's number eight. Had a breeze of a first inning and has had to labor through his next four. Trying to go six. On the ground, ranging over Terang, he gloves it, he throws it in! It is in time! Wow, wow indeed! 
Bryce Terang with that gold glove form. Put one on the highlight reel for Terang. Three up and three down through the heart of the order for Frankie Montas. He was outstanding to the top of the seventh inning. No score. We got Camilo Duvall. Command is always the discussion with Camilo Duvall. It's tied second most and walks with 35. 3 1 pitch, way outside, ball four. My goodness. That's two free gifts at 90 feet. Sanchez goes down swinging. Oh, look out. Back to the screen again. And the second wild pitch of the inning. And Doval is all over the map right here. It's only the second time they've had a runner in scoring position. And that one's in the dirt. Blocked. Here comes Adamas. And he's going to score. Oh, what a read by Adamas. As Doval wild pitches Adamas all the way around the bases. And it's a one nothing ball game. Unbelievable. And Bryce Terang digs in. He's bounced a short twice. One nothing Brewers in the eighth. Delivery. Terang, that's a shot off the glove of Luciano and into shallow center field. Bryce Terang hits a rocket. That'll be a base hit. That's the old catch 22. He hit the ball that probably only Bryce Terang could have made the play, and he can't do it on himself. Tell you what, Bryce Terang's play at second base. With Montas on the mound is uh, proving to be a game changing moment. Bryce Terang at first base. Jackson Churio striding to the plate. There's a fly ball to right. And that is going to be way gone. Churio sends one out of here to make it three to nothing. Jackson Churio with serious opposite field pop. Jackson told me before the game as he was getting ready to take the field he said I feel it I feel it tonight he called his 20th home run he said he was feeling strong feeling good and as he was coming in he pointed at me and he said ya le dije. he said I told you <laughs> this is a confident kid guys what a moment bottom of the ninth inning in San Francisco and the Brewers bring in Devin Williams to try and shut the door and win a series. Giants have now struck out 14 times tonight, and their last six outs that they've made have been by way of a strikeout. This is wrapped into center field, and Canna's got a hit. You always count on a good at bat from Mark Canna. Always. One more base runner would send the possible tying run to the plate. There's a liner down the left field line, fair ball. Past the reach of third baseman Ortiz, it goes into the left field corner. Coming around to third and stopping Canna, a stand up double for Encarnacion. Giants are down to their final out. The runners at second and third in the ninth inning. Williams deals it, roll over ground ball. This should do it. Terang will make the play, and the Brewers win. And Devin Williams locks down another one. And the Brewers' magic number is now seven to clinch a National League Central Division. Nice ball game all the way around.